Hello, Knights fans. We're back with this week's edition of the FDU Men's Basketball Report. Joined, as always, by head coach Greg Horenda. Coach, some big upcoming events here for your program as the season is a couple weeks out still. Right. First up this weekend, I know this is a really important event for you, the Rich Conrad Burgundy and Blue Memorial scrimmage yes. dedicated in Rich's honor last season. Talk about what your expect expectations are for Saturday. Well, I just, I just really expect uh, our players to always perform number one, but it's really the day is for the memory of Rich Conrad, his family, and all of our alums. It's a great day where we put, and obviously you know this, Brian, but just for our audience out there, we put chairs on the floor and the alums sit literally, they're one step away from getting back on the floor. And they all want to be back on the floor. Whether they want to be a player or a coach, they want to be back on the floor. But it's great to the interaction between our players and our alums and our fans and our family and it's an informal day, so there's, you know, there's not the pressure of winning or losing and the deadlines. It's just kind of a really, really um, fun day. Uh, then we have some food upstairs for them. So, so we just wish all of our fans and friends and family to come, but especially our alums to, you know, honor Rich Conrad, but also to see our 19, uh, excuse me, 19. I sound old when I said 19. 2018, 19, uh, Fairleigh Dickinson at night. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah, it's really the, the fans' first chance to get a real glimpse at the yes. team. They'll put on an exhibition, run through some drills, uh, and everything with that. So following the Burgundy and Blue on Saturday, next week you have two more big events. Right. One will be NEC Media Day. Let's talk about that first. You're bringing your senior guard and captain, Darnell Edge, along with you there. It's a good chance to meet with all the other coaches. Right. Uh, this is your sixth season now. You've been going to the Barclays Center out there yeah. for this. Is this something you look forward to? How, how do you usually tackle these type of dates? I think if you ask every coach, it's a pain in the neck until you get there. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like you want to stay in your routine. You don't want to leave campus. You want to be with your team. But we give, we, we plot it out. It's a day off for our players. So the players like it. Uh, Darnell will love it because we're at the Barclays, and it's just a, a great venue our league does. That's probably their shining moment for our, our, our sport. And um, we usually have a great guest speaker there. And it, it, it's a pro feeling. And it's a Division I feeling. And that's, that's who we are. And that's what we're um, trying to attain. And Darnell Edge will represent us in the past. I've had Mike Holloway and Darian Anderson and Tyrone O'Gara, uh, Matias Salam, we had, and Sid Sanders. So we, and it's great. The greatest thing, Brian, is just to see how all the student athletes dress. Because you always have that. And so far, we're in the top tier. We always have guys that style, and I'm sure Darnell will style. And we'll find out where, we, where we're seated, which obviously we know the coaches are always wrong. And we were picked ninth and won it, and we've been picked high and haven't won it. So um, I think we'll get a good pick. But um, the season's it's, it's coming, and uh, that's exciting. And our practices are going really, really well. And um, we got everybody back healthy, thank God. And um, it's an exciting time of the year, so uh, Media Day will be a, a great event. Yeah, it's always a great event. They'll announce the preseason All-NEC team as well as the preseason rankings, right. which always is uh, brings much debate, so it's sure. always exciting. Following the day of the Media Day, you're going to try something here with the tip-off event, which is a chance for all of our fans, students, alums, everyone to come out. It's a late time at 9 o'clock here, but it's a chance for, to see the men's and women's basketball programs in action. There'll be a three-point shootout, a dunk contest, a lot of different events. It'll be an exciting time. There's a DJ. Is this something that I know for you, this is another chance for everyone to see your team. This is but, more up my alley because okay. at Fairleigh Dickinson, we really haven't done this event too, too much. Although at Halloween, you know, I'm Cool Daddy Jones and I come out with, with my costume, which people still, I guess they figured out who it is. But but at UMass Lowell, it was this was huge. We had uh, a big day where our students would come on campus and, and have contests, come into the gym, three-point shooting, ball handling, half-court shots for prizes. So now that we're doing it, uh, I'm really excited about it because it'll be, give me a time to interact with our fans and our student fans, which are, for the most part, are our other athletes. Our baseball team, our soccer teams are awesome, our volleyball team. Uh, so whoever can get here, um, it's great because I think to, to meet our team is to love our team. And uh, there'll be music and there'll be gifts and prizes and, and our players will, can jump and so we'll have a dunk contest. So it'll be fun and it just all builds into the Division One atmosphere that our players so richly deserve.
No, it should be a great interactive time. She has to meet this great group of guys. Yes. I know the fans will have a chance to participate in several activities and take some shots themselves. Yes. Lastly, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it. I noticed you're wearing your USA Youth Development uh, pullover today. I know that's an event you look forward to. Well, you know what? I've had two. I've been asked by USA Basketball to do two clinics, and one was in New York, and the other one was in Philadelphia. And those people are great um, and give me some gear. And it's a great opportunity to give back uh, to the youth uh, development of our country. And every once in a while, I rock. So I apologize for being on the air without FDU gear. But today, I just kind of threw this on. It's, it's, it's just cool to have the flag. And um, Don Shaw Walter runs the youth development uh, of the United States. And I, uh, we've hit it off. And uh, I, I just love giving back. And I think connecting USA basketball to Fairleigh Dickinson basketball is important. So it's, uh, it's all good, man. The NBA started last night. The Knicks, I don't know if they're for real or not. Atlanta didn't look good, but the Knicks look good. And, and our practices are going well. So it's, uh, it's exciting, man. It's, it's like it's New Year's Eve is right around the corner. So it's, uh, it's all good. But Burgundy and Blue this Saturday, man, we got to do it. And then we've got um, Media Day. And then we've got, what are they calling it, tip-off night or whatever. But So we got a lot of exciting things. And then before you know it, we got Post in here. November 1st, and then we're at Rutgers, so it's uh, it's here, baby. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Knicks want to know. I don't know if we can get too excited. The Hawks aren't supposed to be very good, but definitely exciting time. Basketball is all around. Well, I talked to my team today. I compared our team to the Knicks. They just play hard. There's energy. There's passion. And everyone that came off the bench played the same way, and I, and it was just refreshing. So I'm a Knicks fan since I was you know a kid and back in the 70s, and even Walt Frazier was – he was giggling and tickling last night. It's exciting. And I, we, I just want the Nets and the Knicks to be good and, and Seton Hall and Rutgers and ourselves. And this is a great, this is a great area. This is New York City, New Jersey. Basketball should rock. And uh, if, if the top teams do it, uh, we'll follow. But uh, I'm excited, Ben. And lastly, continue with the excitement. Let's head up north for a little discussion here. You're having Jack Armstrong on the Greg Horenda Show this week. Yes. Uh, Toronto Raptors broadcaster sticking with the NBA theme. Talk about your relationship with Jack. It goes way back. Jack, back in the day, was, I think he was, even before he was an assistant at Fordham, what might have been like a student. I mean, Jack's been coaching since he was in a crib. I mean, he's an unbelievable man. From Fordham, he went to Niagara, did a great job at Niagara, and then just really kind of parlayed everything into uh, being the voice of the Toronto Raptors, and he's a huge. He's like the Bill Raftery of Canada, and he's just a humble, great man, and we've been friends for a long time, and we reconnected, so... Uh, he'll be on Saturday at noon. So when we have some exciting guests, I can't announce yet. But our guests are, again, man, we get great people to come on the show. They got to carry me. But we're lucky to be connected to a lot of good people. And Jack um, is, is one of those people. Yeah, for sure. A great group of guys. You've had a history on that show of, yes. of great guests. So we'll continue. Guests, maybe, yeah, definitely. I mean, we talk a lot, but we'll uh, to do it on the radio. I'll, I'll turn it around. I'll, I'll grab the mic and I'll put you uh, on the hot seat. All right, it sounds good. Okay. So as we've recapped here, it's going to be an exciting seven days here for the Fairleigh Dickinson men's basketball team, starting with Saturday's Burgundy and Blue scrimmage, which is open to the public. Doors will open around 10 a.m. There'll be uh, 10.45, I believe, the scrimmage is going to start. And then next week, media day at the Barclays, followed by the tip-off here for all our students. Definitely come out. That's going to be an exciting night. And for everything else with men's basketball, make sure you're always checking back at FDUnites.com.